We all talk about how the forecast can be wrong. Well, here's why. It's kind of like the game of Plinko. We call it forecasto. So <laughs> here's what happens. We've got our current conditions, right? Well, there are forecast models that are uh, our long range forecasts, and they're computer models, and they can all take different paths. There's many steps for that uh, forecast to take, but it depends on the previous step beforehand. So here's what happens. Uh, we've got our forecast 10 days out. The model will only give you one possibility, even though the forecast could go in about like 10 different directions. Well, then if the forecast, the actual uh, weather takes a different step, one small deviation makes a huge difference in the forecast. So while the model may be saying in this case, two centimeters of snow, the actual day, as we get closer to, you can see it's trending a lot higher. The closer we are to the actual forecast, the actual event happening, mm -hmm. the less likely we'll see those deviations. So I like to say, if you're if you're on Twitter or if you're even if you're hearing your forecast say on the radio or you're looking on your app and it says like a week out, it says 10 centimeters of snow next Friday, uh, and then that forecast is happening yeah. today. Like that's way too far. Two days, so 48 two days. hours. That's all you should be looking ahead in terms of actual numbers. Beyond that, it's much more trend. So you can look, like today, I can look to next Friday and be like, well, it's probably going to be cold. There might be a little bit of snow. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to tell you it's going to be 10 centimeters of snow a week out. You just don't know. You can't. You just don't know. Anyone who does is probably being pressured to give that information, but it's likely to be wrong. So take it with a big grain of salt. And you often have to take things with a grain of salt. I feel like as a meteorologist, you always get those comments saying, oh, Kels, you were wrong about this. You were yep. wrong about that. But if you actually look at the science behind it, you are 100% right within that 48-hour period. For sure. And, uh, like, truly, a lot is built on what we think might happen. So uh, humans are programming those computer models. Mm. If we make a mistake, if there's a big geographic feature like a Great Lake or a mountain range or a valley, that can really mess up those models because they're forecasted all across Canada. They're not going to be able to get those little deviations uh, totally accurate. So... I'm not trying to say, like, like, don't put too much pressure on me, but two days, two days, <laughs> two that's days. all you got. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.